Hi and welcome to another day in our tag series. Here we've got something really a bit different. We're going to create this tag in two parts. I'm going to show you the background and then we're going to create the tree from double-sided papers. I'm using the Lavinia Dreamscape papers. They're 150 GSM, but you can use any papers you like. You don't need double-sided for this. I would make sure that they're not too thick and you'll see why in a moment. But first we're going to create the background and oh my goodness, what a fun background this is. So you're going to take your beautiful tag, six and a half centimeters by 12 and a half centimeters, and you're just going to crunch it up. Just crunch it. Whilst you want a lot of texture, you don't want to crack the paper. So you do need to be a little careful, but there we go, that's step one. Now, I haven't got enough crunching, if that's the right word for this, in that corner, so I'm just going to go in and crunch it again. There we go. Okay, I'm happy with that. I'm going to go with the side where I've got the ridges. Here's valleys, these are mountains, and I'm going to go with the side where I've got more of the mountains. Taking my fabulous favourite Christmas colour green is mowed lawn and my blending tool. And I'm just going to swipe across the tag. As always, the card that I'm using was 300 GSM and for this card you definitely need, for this tag you definitely need that strength paper. So there we go. You can see I wasn't too careful. And then I'm going to take my water bottle and I'm just going to spritz it so that the, the ink runs. Isn't that fun? So you don't have to be too careful at all here. That's it. Then I'm going to take a piece of towel you can have, use a glass mat too, that works. And my little travel iron, the best type of irons. Voila, look at that. Isn't that so cool? Isn't that fun? So I don't create one when I'm doing it. Look at all of them. So this one I just put an extra layer of pine needles, lucky clover on it to make it a bit darker. But I actually quite like these. And that's, that's literally how we create the background. So on this one I did go a bit darker, but I think for the one I'm going to show you today, I'm going to choose this one. I just love it. Right, I'm going to show you now, get set up for how we're going to create the tree. So here we are. I've got set up. As I said, I'm using the Lavinia Dreamscape papers. They are double sided, but you don't need to use double sided papers. The first time I tried this, I thought, oh, I'll use a cocktail stick to wrap the papers around. But then I landed up with these really tiny little rolls and I didn't think that it lended itself that well to this proportion tag. But I wanted to show you that because you might want to use that for a smaller project in the future. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut our papers and then we're going to roll them. What I did is I rolled it along a pencil. So I started with six centimeters wide. Bear in mind our tags are six and a half. So I've started with six and you're going to need to decide for yourself what proportion you want, what height you want these rolls to be, depending on the thickness of your pencil that you're going to use. Mine are three centimetres wide. So I've cut six centimetres by three centimetres and then I've reduced it by half a centimetre. So five and a half centimetres by three centimetres, then five centimetres by three and a half centimetres then four and a half, etc. I'm not going to bore you with all of that, but you can get the idea. And I've created eight. And then we'll come to the tree trunk in a moment. So 
starting with the piece that's six centimeters by three centimeters. I'm going to take my pencil and I'm literally going to roll it, roll the piece of paper around it. Now you are going to need to make sure only one thing that the edges that it lines up well. You don't want to have, I'm going to exaggerate, you don't want to have this type of thing happening. So as you roll it along your pencil, just make sure that your edges line up. And then we're going to take our glue and as always I'm using Cosmic Shimmer glue here. And I'm just going to put a single line of glue there and I'm going to roll it into first roll done. So you can see what I've done is I've alternated the colours as I've gone up the tree so that you get this lovely variety and contrast on your tree. So we're going to just roll each of these individually. You can see I'm just holding them very tightly as I roll the paper, pinching it, but keeping it very much around the pencil and that way you don't get any folds in the paper because we don't want folds, we just need rolls. Your pencil does land up a bit mucky, but that's okay, we can clean that afterwards. So that is what we're gonna land up with. With each roll half a centimeter shorter than the previous one. So here we are, we've created our eight little rolls, we've got our background and now we're going to put it all together. So I'm just going to take each roll individually and I'm going to glue along the line where the two ends met. And I'm just going to place it onto my tag like that. And then I'm going to join the next one and place it right next to the other one. And so on, all the way up my tag. I don't have another one of these snowflakes that's in proportion so I wonder mm, I don't really like that actually so let me just put my trunk on first the, so the trunk I just selected a sort of a brownish piece of paper there and that is I've made that one and a half centimeters wide and I'm just gonna glue that to the bottom of my tag There we go. Now I'm not happy with that, so I'll have a think about that. And I'm going to put some of my red sequins all over my little tree. And because I'm using Cosmic Shimmer Glue, it dries really quickly. It dries clear, so all this glue in between the um, rolls will disappear. So there we are. I found a lovely little snowflake at the top, which I think actually works quite well proportion wise with this tag and like I say because we've used Cosmic Shimmer glue it's going to dry clear and so there we have our tag and 
that was the tag that I'd started with, but it's lovely to have a contrast. So I would love to see what you create. Thanks for playing along. Bye.